Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I'm gonna try to separate this in two parts. So let's start with the blender part. So super simple. Um, I like to always make sure that you set up your render settings before starting just to make sure we're on the same page. Turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections. Um, and then I also love to do a little bit of color management and do medium high contrast. Make sure you're on Render Engine Eevee. And once you have that done, just go ahead and save it. I'm gonna go ahead and save mine. And we're gonna do something super simple and you'll see um, where you can start to customize things to your liking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press Shift A and I'm gonna go ahead and spawn my cube. And once I did that, I just press G and then drag it up by pressing Z and locking on the Z axis. I just move it on the Y axis, hold control. Same thing, G and Y, I hold control so it snaps. But for anyone that doesn't wanna go through all that, just pretty much copy my location settings here, zero, one, one. The next thing you're gonna go do is with the Y dimension, press eight and let's make it eight millimeters. Then let's go ahead and move the location again by pressing G and Y. You can copy my location details, like I said. Now let's set up some things. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate by pressing Shift D. I'm gonna drag it up by locking on the Z axis. I'm gonna do something and press Tab, enter edit mode, select, um, make sure that you're on face select mode. So like both sides of this cube by holding down shift, press X, delete. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is bring this down to like, mm, let's make it even smaller, even smaller, about 0 0.125. And this is gonna be essentially our little glowing palette. So we're gonna go ahead and face delete again but with our loop, and once you have that, nice, make sure you're saving. Okay, so I'm gonna rename mine by pressing F2. I'm just gonna call it glowing loop. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press G and Z and just bring it in here. Sometimes you can press down tilde just so you can kind of see where you're at. Then I press S to scale. I just drag it in a little bit. Not too much, but just a little. Go up to the top by pressing tilde again. Hold Z, it's going to wireframe mode. And let's just go ahead and drag it on our Y axis. And what I'll do here now is I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate by pressing Shift D and drag it on the Y axis a few more times, Shift D. Don't worry about the positioning or placement. I think you'll be fine. Even if it's just like kind of wonky, you can just play with it. Don't overthink anything here with this creation. You know, we're just, we're making something casually. We're not going crazy. So the next step you're gonna do is when you select all of these, maybe in wireframe mode, maybe in not, press M. Create new collection. I like to just call these loops. Okay, I'm gonna change the color because I gotta keep it fun. Now the next step is we're gonna have to get our camera in. So this could be tricky depending on how you spawned in your queue, but as long as you've done everything kind of similar to me, you'll be okay. Hold down tilde, front, press shift A, bring in your camera we just did pretty much as we positioned our perspective to make sure that it matches the camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it. And then what you can do now is if you hold down tilde and you view the camera, you'll kind of see what's going on here. We're in it now. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine 16 by nine for right now. 
we're not going to dive into too many details. And then the next thing I like to do is create a little split here by right clicking essentially the divider and you'll get a horizontal vertical. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold down tilde, make sure this one locks in there. My second viewport, I'm going to go up with your camera. I like to see the wireframe and we're going to do a little bit of animating now. So essentially you want to drag your key playback head to zero and we're going to do some keyframing. So essentially on our camera, we're going to insert a single keyframe on the location property. And then we're just going to drag all the way down to our ending frame. And then we're going to press eight. So we're just matching essentially the size of our cube and you can do this with any loop, anything, as long as it matches, you just want to make sure you're running on that same template. And then what you'll see when I click play now, or when we click play, that you have an animation that lives. Now, the next part is where it gets kind of cool and you'll see the fruits of your labor here. Let's just go ahead and press shift A and let's bring in a collection instance, which is a loop. And then just drag it on the Y axis. And you do that once and you press shift D again, drag it on the Y axis by holding and hold the control as well. So you can lock onto it. And then what you're going to do after you do that, just press shift R a few times to repeat what we essentially did. And what you'll have now is you'll have a nice little loop here. Okay. Now let's move on to the material creation part of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and change my right. And I'm going to enter a render view for an Eevee still. I'm going to just look at my original loop. So we have our cube. I'm just going to rename it and call it container. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some things actually. Let's go over to the world properties. Turn the strength down to zero. I just want it to be dark. And then within our container, we're going to turn down the roughness. Let's take our glowing loop and let's just start adding emissive values. So I'm going to call this emission one. I have some colors that you can follow for now. So you don't have to overthink anything with that. So let's bring in, I believe it was green. Let's make this like 10. You see some cool stuff going on now. Green 10. You see that? And then do they make this one blue? And then again, duplicate. See a four, so you have a little color, red. Three, again, oops, four, three, duplicate. Yellow. And then last color, now. Let's make a couple more of this. Let me play with it. Uh, let's do that again. Okay. Oh, shit, actually. I think something. Okay. So we have a little bit of a glowing loop, and you see the reflections are going kind of nuts. From here, we can kind of play with it if we want. I'm just gonna, I don't want it to be too crazy on my end. So you, cause you can just make it like this infinite mirror. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. And you'll see now we have pretty much like this loop that happens. I'm going to do some little touch up things in Blender and then we'll get over to After Effects. So color management, we already have a medium high contrast. So let's run over to let's first set up our render settings here and our output. Personally, with something, if you feel like your computer is struggling to render this, then I suggest rendering it out as PNGs, just so you, if it crashes, you have a PNG sequence to work out of. Maybe I can create a tutorial on that. But from here, let's just go ahead and go to Kaleidoscope, I'll call it Tutorial, Blender. And I go ahead and just do that. Let's go over to compositing, use nodes, do a little bit of some playful stuff here. Oops. So if you're wondering how I'm spawning things in, I'm just doing shift A and this is called a reroute that I just used. And that pretty much lets you split the nodes to kind of go to two places. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do some lens distortion. Just going to add a little bit of dispersion. 
I don't make it fit because I want that. I'm gonna do another lens distortion. I'm gonna add some distortion in here. And I press F12. So I can kind of see what's going on. Okay, let's make it fit. Uh, let's do some fun stuff. Add a little bit of glare. You can really, like, really get into this. Like, that's some cool stuff, like, uh, shit. Oops. It was zero. You do some, what does that do? Color modulation. Okay, we'll leave it at this for right now. Um, and this is fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna render this and then I'll meet you right back in After Effects. Okay, so now we're in After Effects. I'll keep this super light and simple for all my other After Effects newbies like myself. Let's just go ahead and pull in the CC collect. Oh wait, so let me just slow down. Your effects and presets. If you have, I think the standard layout, all you're gonna have to do is type in CC K A L and get Collida. I'm gonna bring in the Collida, and then within our Collida settings, we're just gonna go ahead and switch it to Starfish. And then you can pump the size up depending on like where you want it. Sometimes I like to make sure it like kind of seamlessly flies in and you get this like, it's already pretty sick, like to be honest. And the next thing I've been playing around with was adding CC hex, hex tile. You bring in that. And with the hex tile, things are gonna get a bit funky, but if you do fold seamlessly, you get kind of like this cool effect and you up the radius. And now you have like this quite trippy thing. And here's where you're gonna get kind of fun. You could rotate it. So maybe it's not fully just like on the mark. And then you can even rotate your kaleidoscope too. And then if you want, sometimes I like to mess around with it. I'll click the rotation to keyframe it. I'll click the keyframing icon. And go all the way to the end of my Thing. Maybe I'll have it turn like twice. Then from there, oops, you click play. Okay, maybe that's too much. Maybe once is what we're gonna do. Play twice, just do one rotation. And you get this kind of beautiful, kind of trippy looking thing. And it loops. It's up to you if you want to get all that kind of mess, but I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it a little bit more. And I think that's it. I'm not going to go too crazy with some of the other settings, but for now, I think we're living. So let's wrap it up. What's up everyone? It's been a long, 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 long time since I made a tutorial and I'm happy to make them again. I'm doing a lot of background work in terms of just like the overall vibe of the channel, the overall vibe I'm putting out. Hopefully I can share a bit more with everyone. But yeah, pat yourself on the back for doing that tutorial. If you have any questions around like After Effects, and Blender, things that you might want to explore more, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and maybe I can iterate on it and maybe make a video out of it. I know some people in the past have left some ideas and or maybe even like links to projects. I should drop. Um, I'll have to think about something in terms of like a way where people can leave ideas or comments I don't know if that's in the form of like Discord or if it's in the form of like a Patreon or a Facebook group. I don't even know. It depends on what everyone's into. But thanks again for watching the video. I really appreciate every little piece of like engagement or liking it um, or even sharing with your friends. So thanks again and I'll see you around. Much love.